It's a thing. And it's week two. And it's going to be the Gosu crew against Platinum Heroes. So, I will, in effect, be supporting the Platinum Heroes side with a little bit of bias towards them, but that's only if they don't lose. Kappa. Alright. Oh, Dark Thunder, you da man. Oh, man. Heart. Here, we gotta switch back. Heart. Heart for that. Give them some love in the chat. Now, guys, a fun rule with me is I have a I have a rule where I like to I think it's best is seven. We're gonna go with that. Uh, I have a fun rule and then we'll get into the game. Where I have, I always have a bottle of maple syrup with me next to me when I cast. I have it right now. You can't see me on camera right now because we're in game. But uh, I was holding it. Now, you can pick a couple of requirements. If some certain things happen in the game, I will after the game. Oh, hold on. Hey, two. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Mm, bless me. Uh, I will take uh, a swig of maple syrup straight from the bottle because, you know, we Canadians, we drink that. It is our nectar. Our delicious sweet treat of liquid uh, you know so tell me what you want uh, uh, yeah and well you tell me what it what the conditions are whether it's uh, cheese cannon rush 12 pull uh, there are four workers in gas like whatever it can be anything in the game we'll pick a couple let me know and we'll go from there but let's introduce our players and FMI ranting and shenanigans. In the top left here on Triton, map number one, the pink Protoss. It's Deuceman. Deuce Man. Duchi Ming. And in the bottom right, from Platinum Heroes, the Blue Zerg. Coming in from Texas, the one, the only, Austin M. And the only reason I say he's from Texas is because he's, his name's Austin, AMP. Is it Austin AMP or Austin AMP? Or is it just AMP? And he's representing Austin. Or is it AMP? I don't know. Backwards, it's Pman it is sta Sao. Yep. Yep. We're, we're, we're going with it. We're going with it. Okay. Pretty late scout, actually. Oh. Uh, out of Deuce Man. Doing it after the Cybernetics Core. Bit of a risky situation, especially if, uh, you know, some some crazy shenanigans are going down. Now, I don't know what uh, server these players are on. I actually don't know if I'm the correct server. Whoops, should have checked that. Uh, but it's okay. Because, you know, in NA, players are a little more fancy with their variety. You know what I mean? But these links, are going to check it down. This probe, definitely going to die, but not after seeing what's going on. Oh, Miss Rally there. Miss Riley there. I'll keep track with this two minute delay. Okay, yeah, he saw it. He saw the gas. Taking off the gas at the normal time. I'm going to keep one on. That's pretty typical. Pretty typical. Leave one on. You don't have to, but uh, you do it until about you have enough uh, gas to be able to build. Excuse me. Build a lair. But he actually kept them on enough so he could get Overlord speed and Link speed. If Protoss OP. Or Zerg in the drink. <laughs> yeah, be a little more specific. Uh, gas first. This is going to be a two-piece. <laughs> never know. Okay. So we got Twilight Cancel and a Robo coming down pretty soon after one another Robo. Going to be a little bit more first. Uh, that worked. Oh, we're, we're rolling with it. Uh, probe production stopped right now for Deuceman. Deuceman. No, I don't like that phrase. Nope. We're backing off of that one. Backing up. Back it up. Uh, but a couple of stalkers opening. No adept scout. Nope. No adept scout. Unless lost it. Nope. So uh, limited scouting potential here. Going for a lot of stalkers. Getting charged. Sorry. I'm guessing the stalkers here are for, uh, are for dealing with overlords. But with the overlord speed, that's going to be a bit tricky without blink. As those overlords are going to be able to zoom away. Where's where's one? Here. There's a movement. It's moving so fast. That's the sound of a faster overlord. Dark Thunder. Thank you, mommy, for the follow. That's number one. We have a goal of four today, guys, because I am four away from affiliation. 
Uh, oh, thank you, Atira, for the shout out. Uh, and Haroku999. Mighty fine. Thank you. That's two to go, guys. Dos. Mos. No. Dos mas. Dos mas. That's, that's how we speak Spanglish. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And that's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay. Uh, so here in the protest base, we've got a bunch of gateways down. So it is going to be a two gate all in. Uh, uh, gonna be a two base all in. Potentially some leg being experienced. Over on the Zerg side of the map, we've got queens are out here. Roaches are already coming out at a typical time in which you'd want to be able to deal with, uh, or, uh, Archon drops. Whenever a pylon dies, you must drink a maple serpent overlord within the first five minutes. I'll agree to that. Uh, Gas versus nice for Robo Allens. Okay. Uh, so the lair is out. No uh, no roach speed started up yet. Just going for roach ling. Uh, we don't see any ravagers out or anything yet. Just building up that roach count. Has stopped drone production at 36. So might be looking. Uh, he, he's been able to tell that it's an all in. So he's just going purely into unit production. But is a massive supply block here on both sides. But both are getting the necessary supply. Uh, this overlord's in a dicey spot. But only one stalker. Uh, Going to stay here to deal with it. The warp prism. I heard it. Where is it? There it is. Bunch of charge lots coming in now. We're looking at the unit step, but the roaches are here to meet them at the ramp. A nice, uh, a nice positioning here. Uh, De Deuce man gonna have to fight up the ramp. The zealots, there's just so many of them are gonna be able to wrap around the roaches. Roaches, in order to deal properly with zealots, need to kite. Not a lot of kiting here, but the big daddy immortals are here now, and this looks like it's just gonna be too much. Austin AMP does not quite have enough in terms of army supply. The soup does not lie. Uh, the Zealots are now into the mineral line of the natural. Thank you, Juvator, for the follow. And here comes everything. There's only a handful of roaches left on the production tab. It's just a few more. But this is just about all she wrote. The natural base will fall. The wart prism uncontested here in the sky. Going to pick up the uh, immortal. And oh my gosh, we've done it. Tassad, 12, and Papa Panda, you've put us over the top. Tasset with the 50th official follow in Papa Panda uh, with 51. We've made it, guys. We are affiliated. I don't know how it's going to work, but GG. There's just too much here for Deuce Man. And Austin AMP is going to tap out. Okay, we're just uh, we're still checking in on stuff, guys. So let's break down that game. So... Trying to remember their names. Austin AMP, the Zerk for Platinum Heroes. He did the right thing in terms of scouting. He he went he went for the play to scout. Oh, the lighting makes Lieutenant Maple Moose the blue parts. Uh, <laughs> look, see. It, it it edits it out. So awkward. Uh, so. He got the Overlord speed, which was very good, and the Link speed, and he scouted. He scouted what was going on. So he saw the amount of gases. You do not see any gases at the natural. You know that's a big tell they're doing for some kind of swarm toss, uh, two base all in, especially if they're not going for a third base around the 435 minute mark at the latest. Uh, so he knew it was coming. So he, he started to prepare, but he didn't drone up fast enough, because if you see that other protest, you know you've got some time. You've got some time before there are enough immortals, enough gateways and everything. So you just drone, 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 drone. But I I think there are some serious supply block issues. Let's see. Uh, let's take a look. So time supply blocked. He was a minute supply block. For a minute of the game, in a seven-minute game, he was supply block. So for one out of every seven seconds, he wasn't able to build units. That's a problem. That's a problem. So first first key of the game there would be to not get supply blocks. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, but, again, these are Platinum players. And the way Platinum players work is they know how to do most things in StarCraft, but they can only do about two of them at a time. So every game, they're like, All right, yeah. I got to build workers. I got don't be supply blocked. I got micro. That's worth two. That's a hundred. I got uh, 
I got something else, and I got tech. Those are things, but which one? Which what? Which two do I use? I'll use these two. What are they again? I don't know. We'll just go for it. And they just discard the other ones, but that's okay because you know what? Back in gold, they didn't know how to do everything, and they could only do one of the things they knew half right. Love you, gold players out there. You the real MVPs of StarCraft. Uh, Thirty-two percent of you, of all StarCraft players, are in gold. Did you know that? Fun fact. Used to be twenty. Back in Heart of the Swarm, they changed it to 32. Uh, so that's how it was. So Austin, he had the right idea. He scouted. That was the one thing he did right. And he had the right idea of how to prep for it. He needed some Ravagers. Ravagers help a lot, especially because they don't get the bonus damage from Immortals. And they get some extra range so they can be behind the Roaches. He also needed to kite the Zealots, which is tricky. He had, the right, he had a good plan of being at the top of the ramp. Well, there's just so many zealots and not enough of a ball of roaches. Excuse me. To be able to deal with that. He was building Link Switch. I, it wasn't... Since there were zealots, it's just, it, it wasn't that good. But, hey, that's, that's the way it is. 